In over 60 years of history, Miami-Dade College has had five past presidents. Madeline Pumariega is currently the sixth and the first woman, having taken office in January 2021. The College Board of Trustees is responsible for the selection of the college president. These processes are documented in board records held in the college archives, which also contains materials relating to the term of each president. Kenneth R. Williams was the college's first president, beginning his tenure in 1959, just before what was to be called Dade County Junior College, officially opened in 1960 in temporary facilities. His term ended in May 1962. It was a happy day in my life. I'm extremely pleased and gratified with the action of the Dade County Board of Public Instruction in appointing me president of the Dade County Junior College. Peter Masico Jr. took over in July 1962 and led the college through an era that experienced desegregation and social upheaval, along with an expansion plan that added four campuses by the time his tenure ended in June 1980. I was thrilled beyond words to find that the junior college in the downtown area was given top priority as one of the first projects combining urban renewal and the, the redevelopment of the downtown business area. Masico was immediately succeeded by Robert H. McCabe, who led the college until 1995 during a period of innovation and growth, including the establishment of New World School of the Arts. Dr. Eduardo J. Padron. Probably the most influential president and certainly the longest serving, Eduardo J. Padron was selected as president in September 1995. As a teenage refugee from Cuba, Eduardo Padron came to the United States to pursue the American dream, and he has spent his life making that dream real for others. As president of the community college he once attended, his thoughtful leadership and commitment to education have transformed Miami-Dade College into one of the premier learning institutions in the country, earning him praise around the world. For all of his efforts and leadership, Dr. Padron was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama in 2016. Dr. Padron retired in August 2019, and the search for his successor was taking longer than expected, so retired provost Dr. Rolando Montoya was named interim president, presiding until the selection of the current president, Madeline Pumariega, who is also a former MDC student and Wolfson campus president. Search the College Archives online catalog to find materials relating to the college presidents and other administrative leaders.